Hello, good morning, friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel, Code One Digest. Today, in this video, we will learn about bulkhead design pattern for microservices. I'll explain this design pattern with the real world example. Later, we'll understand the use cases and benefits of this design pattern. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed about strangler design pattern. Can you explain what is strangler design pattern? Can you provide your answer in the comment section of this video? If you have not seen that previous video, so please go and watch that video about strangler design pattern. The link is provided on your screen and also given in the description section of this video. For more information, go and watch the previous video on Code One Digest channel. Friends, so here is an agenda for the video today. I will give you an introduction of bulkhead design pattern. Then I'll show you real world examples of bulkhead design patterns. Then I'll explain you where to use bulkhead design pattern in our project. We'll understand the benefits and advantages of bulkhead design pattern. Then I'll summarize what we learned in this video and we will close with a brief introduction of next video on sidecar design pattern. So stay tuned till end of this video. There is a lot of learning in this video. We are going to learn about the design pattern and it's very useful design pattern. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I want you to subscribe my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I'm creating a lot of quality contents for you, but I'm not getting subscribers. I want you to like, share and subscribe my channel so that I can grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. All right, let's get started. Okay, friends, now let's start with bulkhead design pattern. Let me explain you what is bulkhead design pattern. So remember, this is the fifth design pattern in decomposition design pattern category. The bulkhead design pattern is a type of application design that is tolerant of failures. In a bulkhead architecture, elements of an application are isolated into a pool so that if one fails, other will continue to function. The ability of system to recover from the failure and remain functional makes the system more resilient. The name bulkhead is coming from ship hull. The bulkhead pattern get its name from naval engineering practice where ships have internal chambers isolating their hull so that if a rock cracks it, water can't spread to the entire ship and causing it to sink. If the hull of the ship is compromised, only the damaged section filled with the water which prevent the ship from sinking. Microservices are distributed in nature and it has more component and moving parts. In distributed architecture, dealing with any unexpected failure is one of the biggest challenge. It could be a hardware failure or network failure. The ability of system to recover from failure and remain functional makes the system more resilient. It also avoid any cascading failure. Hence, we use bulkhead design pattern to achieve and to make our services more fault tolerant. This design pattern helps us in avoiding cascading failure to other systems. A ship is splitted into small multiple compartments using bulkheads and bulkheads are used to seal the parts of the ship to prevent the entire ship from sinking in case of flood. Similar failure may happen in software. The application should be split into multiple components and resources should be isolated in such a way that failure of one component is not affecting the other. Now let's understand the bulkhead design pattern with an example. Let's understand the problem first. A cloud-based application may include multiple services with each service having one or more consumers. Excessive load or failure in a service will impact all the consumers of the service. The issue of resource exhaustion affect the services with multiple consumers. A large number of requests originating from one client may exhaust available resources in the service. 
and other consumers are no longer able to consume the service, causing a cascading failure effect. Hence, the solution to this problem is partitioning the service instances into different groups based on consumer load and availability requirement. This design helps us to isolate failures and allow you to sustain service functionality for some consumers, even during a failure. A consumer can also partition resources to ensure that resources used to call one service don't affect the resource used to call other service. For example, a consumer that calls multiple services may be assigned a connection pool for each service. If a service begins to fail, it only affects that connection pool assigned for that service, allowing the consumer to continue using other services. This diagram shows the bulkhead structure around the connection pool that call individual services. If service A fails or cause some other issue, the connection pool is isolated, so only workload using that thread pool assigned to service A are affected. Workload that use service B and C are not affected and can continue working without the interruption. The next diagram shows the multiple client calling a single service. Each client is assigned a separate service instance. Client 1 has made too many requests and overblame his instance because each service instance is isolated from other. The other client can continue making calls. Now let's understand the bulkhead design pattern with the ship hull. The bulkhead pattern gets its name from a naval engineering practice where a ship have internal chamber isolating their hull so that if a rock cracks it, water can't spread to entire ship, causing it to sink. A ship is split into small multiple compartment using bulkhead. Bulkhead are used to seal the part of the ship to prevent entire ship from sinking in case of flood. And similar failure should be expected when we design a software. The application should be split into multiple components and resources should be isolated in such a way that failure of one component is not affecting the other. In software development, the practice is focused on isolating resources and dependencies so that systematic failure is circumvented. This makes system more available, more fault tolerant and prevent from cascading failure. Let us assume that there are two services A and B. Some of the APIs of A depends on B. For some reason, B is very slow. So when we get multiple concurrent requests to A, which depends on B, A performance will also get affected. It could block the threads of A. Due to that, A might not be able to serve other requests which do not depend on B. So the idea here is to isolate the resources and allocation some threads in A and B so that we do not consume all the threads of A and prevent A from hanging for all the requests. Okay friends, let's understand the use case of bulkhead design pattern and where to use it in our project. So use this pattern to isolate resources used to consume a set of backend services. Use this pattern to isolate critical consumers from standard consumers. Use this pattern to protect the application from cascading failure. Apply the bulkhead pattern whenever you want to scale a service independent of other service. Then you can apply bulkhead pattern to fault tolerant component of varying risk or availability requirement. Apply the bulkhead pattern to isolate geographies for the purpose of increasing speed, latency, and reduce latency such that distance solutions do not share or communicate, thereby slow response time. Let's understand the advantage that we get from bulkhead design pattern. Bulkhead design pattern help us in isolating the consumer and services from cascading failures. An issue affecting a consumer or services can be isolated within its own bulkhead, preventing the entire solution from failing. This pattern allows you to preserve some functionality in the event of service failure. Other services and features of the application will continue to work. This allows you to deploy services that offers a different quality of service for consuming applications. A high priority consumer pool can be configured to use high priority services.
Okay, friend. Now let me summarize what we learn in this video. Now, I gave you an introduction of bulkhead design pattern. Then I shown you real world example of bulkhead design pattern, and then explain you where to use or where to use bulkhead design pattern. What are the use cases of bulkhead design pattern in our project? We also understood the benefits of bulkhead design pattern. So, friends, let me know if you have already used this pattern in your project. Or seen a scenario where this pattern can be useful. Please provide your answer in a comment section of this video. Okay, friends. So now in next video we will discuss about sidecar design pattern. I'll explain you what is sidecar design pattern. We'll see real world example of sidecar design pattern. We'll understand the use cases of sidecar design pattern, and we'll also understand the benefits of sidecar design pattern. So stay tuned for the next video and keep watching Code One Digest. If you are new to the channel, so please do subscribe to our channel to grow Code One Digest family. Thank you, friends. If you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners, and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents, so please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology-related videos. Thank you.